Hello folks, Charles75N here, and we've got the angles kind of figured out, and we're going to go ahead and start putting the sides of our fabric up. Now we're going to have to do uh, a little bit different on each side. The angles aren't exactly the same on each side because this horn is longer, and so that means that we have to do something a little bit different here. So <clears throat> let's come down here, and I'm going to start with this angle right here. We're going to go ahead and glue up this fabric here. And then I'm going to work down the guitar this way. All right, so get plenty of glue on this because I really just don't have enough. And so we're spending time smoothing out the glue and getting some onto the fabric as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stretch that piece of fabric here. Make sure that we, I'm wiping kind of the excess off with my thumb right now. And have my wet rag here that I can get the rest, great parts. All right, so we've got some tape here, and we're going to tape that down in there. And so it's going to hold that nice and firm into place. At least I thought it would. All right, so. Excellent. And I'm remembering to go ahead and push this, these corners down here. That angle is not finished right in there at this point. All right, so then we're going to glue this up like this on both sides. We'll cut our patch afterwards to fit in there. I would have liked to have shown you all this process but the video would have just been too long and there are long portions in the video where I'm concentrating on the work and not talking a whole lot and it, you wouldn't have gotten as much out of it. So we'll do this instead. All right, so now this next step is, it, this is the next part is gonna be a little bit trickier because I have some angles that are not wanting to cooperate. And so let me get, knife here and see if I can't make a little bit more relief and I'm sorry I'm dragging this off the table where you can't see and that should kind of do it So you can see we're just working our way down the guitar and you'll see that we have this little v-shape in there that we're going to go ahead and patch later we'll cut that patch to fit and you'll see me going ahead and pulling the fabric off and putting it back on because i'm trying to get um a wrinkle free finish here and i'm not happy with where how something is laying down and also we want to sit there where all these uh seams are we want to make sure they're hidden and so that once we finish that they won't be visible and so this makes this a lot easier. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. And here's where it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and start with these insides and then do the outsides. Uh, that's because of the stress that's on this angle right here. And so I want to make sure that this comes out uh, comes out very well before we move on all right let's get some i had really thought that i had um got this angle right here and what turns out that i cut this fabric at an angle that it, it was under way too much tension and so you'll see me here uh, messing with that one little fat 
flap of fabric over and over again and really had to kind of change my plan and when you look a little bit later here um, I'm gonna pull this back off and I'm gonna realize that I need to do the horn first uh, otherwise there's gonna be a big gap on that corner there's gonna be a hole in the fabric and there's no way to recover from that and uh, so here I am going ahead wrapping that side up and now that allows me to go ahead and wrap the smaller piece of fabric in a way that um, will lay down properly and it'll be under tension it'll under, be under the proper tension so it'll stay on there rather than pull off and separate but still i wasn't happy with it here i had a little bit of a gap there and so i went back and did it all again and constantly uh using the knife here to go ahead and adjust some of the cuts there so that the fabric will lay down the right way so this is something that takes a lot of patience to go ahead and figure out because i really thought i had it nailed the first time and just simply did okay a bit of a different strategy here on this side we're going to go ahead and work from that bottom horn and then come back towards the center um, this horn is cut at a really different angle and I want to make sure I get it right and based upon all the other angles that are going on here in the guitar at this time I figured it's better to work from that bottom and come back towards the center Be, and you can see me trimming off that extra piece of fabric there and I know that here in the center I'm gonna have a patch and so I'm tri I left myself with the idea that I only wanted two patches uh, one on each side where the, where the body comes in the most and I could cut those um, later to size and in order to make them kind of disappear so now I'm trying to figure out okay I've got all the side fabric laid down now these inner horns is what I've been worried about on the bottom here because of the angle there was no way you could just simply cut them properly to make them come up and so here you're seeing that I am really having to go ahead and work to make sure that um, I'm gonna have another weird patch in here you know it's, it's just nothing I could really do about it so it represented a problem for me of how am I gonna cut a patch in this odd shape that isn't going to look like a patch so here I'm realizing that I didn't cut that fabric right there in order to get the angle I needed and so I'm adjusting it here with the knife realizing that I'm going to have to put a patch in anyway so I kind of made this funky cut real quick knowing that I can uh, just cover that up later. I did all the patches off camera just because I needed to concentrate a whole lot more in order to make sure they looked seamless uh, for the end customer on this and you know quality needs means concentration. Alright, so we've got all our patches installed, all our angles done. Now we're going to go ahead and put our sanding sealer on. And we're going to just sanding seal the top and the sides just stiff enough to go ahead and be able to trim the fabric like we're always, like we're always talking about. So we're going to give it a good coating because we want the fabric to stiffen up so we can't... Oh no! Oh no! I need it elevated here so I can get the sides. Hence the precariousness of this. But I probably should use something thicker. And I realized... You know what? I usually do it this way. So, I forgot to take off this blue tape back here, and I'm sure you can see it. So let me take that off, so I can do the sides properly.
so again. Yep, so kind of a rough edit that was taking a little bit of a long time and didn't want you to have to wait through it. And the fellow wasn't exactly organized on his workbench, and so kind of made this for an awkward little here. section here. This one, and just kind of clean it up, right? Anything that is extra. All right. And so now we can go ahead and just let this dry. You can see that we do have all of our angle. You can see that we do have all of our angles done. And this is going to be really, really kind of cool. All right, so there we have. Folks, Trail 75 in here. We've got our Warlock all glued up, all our fabric glued up on the sides, our angles all figured out. And we've gone ahead and sanding sealed the top and the sides so that we can trim our fabric. So now we're gonna follow the body lines, trim our fabric. And then we'll be ready to go ahead and to glue our back. And then we'll be ready to do the seam and seal it for really all of it. Then, and won't that be something? Okay. Got a little bit here that's going to need to be glued back up. I know some of you are thinking here that, you know, hey, Charles, your knife is, is, is not sharp. It's actually a brand new blade on that. And uh, part of the problem is the bevel. And on a lot of this where I'm trimming, the angles are actually getting in the way. I can't get my whole handle where I want to get it. And so we're just going ahead and we're trimming this all down. And then we're fine tuning the trim as we go. And so, you know, it just takes some more time. Usually this goes a lot quicker for me, but with, like I said, with all the angles and everything, it made it a little bit, uh, a little bit trickier. And then here on the top, I, you know, I didn't talk during this section at all because this is where I really want to concentrate. This seam, if handled right, it disappears. If you make, if it's a sloppy cut, then you can see it from a mile away. And so this is a seam that I have been working on uh, ever since I did my uh, second fabric top guitar, and I think I've really got it down now. All right, so here we have it, our Warlock body, our top and our sides done. And so all we're going to have to do we're, when we come back is we're going to grab some hundred grit. And come on the back and the sides. And we're going to just knock this down into a straight edge. On other guitars, this is a little easier, but with all these angles, this was a little tougher. And I do have some pull away that I that I need to fix. But this way will ensure, by doing this, I'll ensure that I uh, know exactly what needs to be glued back on. And, um, oops, so sorry. So I know what needs to be glued back on, and I know, you know what parts have little separations in them and what parts need to be trimmed. Um, and this pretty much takes care of the trim. Like you see here, you've got this piece of fabric that got folded over. Well, yeah, I could pull back at this all day long and I can take my knife out and you know I can come over here and again I can trim it carefully but the other option for that too is just I can come back here and I can smooth that out I've got just some extra, so that's a little piece that needs to be glued over here. All right. So. All 
and I won't keep you. So that, I'm just going to finish that. You can see the body is good. You see our body's good. You can see our angles are good. And we're all ready to go. So as always, enjoy your guitar journey. Thank you for being part of mine.